I'm Emma Dillabo and I'm here today with Rena Mendelson, PhD, who has taught in Ryerson School of Nutrition for more than 20 years. She's also the nutrition section head for the Canadian Obesity Network and recently co-authored a paper examining the nutrition content and on-package marketing of novel beverages. Um, maybe you could start with um, the main dif legislation differences between novel food products and regular food and drink. Okay, so in Canada we have two different um, legislative packages. One of them governs food products and it limits how much of any given nutrient, vitamin or mineral can be added to a food product. The novel food beverages that we looked at fall under the natural health products legislation and that does not restrict how much of a given vitamin or mineral can be added to specific um, products that are classified as natural health products. In your paper you talk about some of the drinks um, having nutrients in excess of five times the recommended um, daily value. What are some of the health risks that might be possible from this? Well some examples would be in our products that we looked at uh, which included vitaminized water, um, energy drinks, and um, altered fruit beverages, we found a very high levels of niacin in the products, levels that would exceed what we consider to be the upper limit of um, safety. And uh, that one example would perhaps lead to problems like um, neurological damage, uh, um, changes in skin, uh, hypersensitivity. So a number of things can go wrong when we have excessive amounts of niacin in the diet. And that's just one example. There were many other vitamins and minerals that were there at very high levels. So the new labeling laws for natural food, pro food products such as the vitamin water and energy drinks has recently changed forcing companies to include nutrition facts tables. Is this enough? Well the nutrition facts table will replace what they have now and uh, that may help to limit um, how much of the vitamins are found in the products. We still see a number of the older products on the shelf and um, we really need to be cognizant of the risk of over vitaminizing foods and beverages and be cautious about how much people drink at any given time. Okay. Thank you very much for speaking with me today. You're welcome.